What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. Today we're doing another brand new unboxing. This time it's going to be on the Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital combo pack of Tomb Raider. So without further ado, let's get started. So, banner obviously. We got the uh, poster artwork there. Um, Alicia Vikander is Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. So that's basically the front. There's nothing really too special on the front though. Uh, Blu-ray disc logo, Tomb Raider. Um, French thing, uh, MGM logo, Warner Brothers logo, same thing on the other side. So now we'll take a look at uh, at the back here. Oh. Uh, we have a quote from Mark S. Allen of ABC TV. And uh, there is the description of the movie if you guys want to take a look at that. Um, if you guys haven't seen the movie or um, know too much about the games, then uh, there you go. Uh, you got some nice screenshots from the film right there. So now we'll take a look at our special features here. Um, we've got Laura Croft, Evolution of an Icon, Explore the Revolutionary Tomb Raider Saga from Video Games to Movies, and Discover How Laura Croft Became One of the Most Popular and Successful Female Characters of All Time. Uh, Croft Training, Enter the Gym with Oscar-winning actress Alicia Vikander as she prepares for the most physically demanding role of her career, and transforms into the iconic action hero Laura Croft. Uh, Tomb Raider Uncovered, the cast and crew of Tomb Raider reveal the challenges and the fun of bringing Lara Croft's thr uh, thrilling adventures to life for a new generation. And uh, breaking down the rapids, drone director uh, Roar Utog, Uthog, uh, not really too too sure how you say that, uh, as he and other members of the cast and crew break down the film's most exciting action set piece. And we'll, um, we got digital movie right there. So now we will take a look at our specifications here. Uh, 1080p high definition, 16 by 9 with an aspect ratio of uh, 24 to 1 or uh, 240 to 1. Um, for audio, we get a Dolby Atmos True HD track as well as a 5.1 DTS HD Master Audio track and a 5.1 Descriptive Audio track as well as a 5.1 French Dolby Digital and 5.1 Spanish. And um, you guys know the drill with these subtitles for one or titles. And uh, this one is 118 minutes, so just a little under two hours long. So now here it is without the slipcover, just the regular Blu-ray. There is the side right there. And then we have uh, the back once again just with that. So we will take my X-Acto knife right here and we'll just slice this along here like we usually do. And get this off here. And um, surprisingly, it did not stick. And that was a uh, very clean uh, takeoff of the wrapping, I guess. So, bring this off camera, take out the code. And uh, there you go. This one looks like it's green this time around instead of blue. So, redeem your digital movie. And then on the back, just the same thing with. Uh, your source for all things Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers Canada .ca. Um, I guess if you're in Canada or in the US, it's uh, WarnerBrothers.com. But here it is inside here, so we'll take a look at the discs. Unfortunately, Warner Brothers does not like to put artwork on their discs. They just usually like to have like that. So we have a Tomb Raider logo, a Blu-ray logo, MGM, and Warner Brothers logos, and it's just uh, just a simple green disc. It probably looks turquoise on there, but um, if I'm looking at it, it's green. And uh, there's the other disc. Here's the DVD right here. I still can't really wrap my head around why they have DVDs still. I don't really get it when probably every single person in the universe has a Blu-ray player. But um, yeah, just a little bit of rambling right there. So now, anyways, we'll get on to the review portion of uh, this video. So what did I think of Tomb Raider? Um, I thought it was actually good. Uh, I know I've seen a lot of people hate on it. Um, yeah, sure, the plot's kind of something we've seen before. Um, but there are really strong performances all around. The action was pretty good. I did see this one in 3D as well. And uh, the 3D was, nah, wasn't too bad. Um, that's why I just got the Blu-ray. They did offer a 3D version and a 4K version. If you guys are kind of curious, I might do that from now on in my videos but um, yeah like I said 3D 4K I uh, decided to just get the regular Blu-ray I, I don't have 4K so 
Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of a waste of money, I guess. But, um, but anyways, it was pretty good. Uh, pretty good by video game movie standards, even though I did think Rampage was a little bit better. But this one was still pretty well made and everything. And, um, oh. But, uh, yeah, the special features might be really kind of cool to take a look at. But, uh, the really good performance of this movie was from uh, Walton Goggins. Uh, he was actually pretty good. And, um, uh, kind of excited to see him in Atman. And, uh, that's coming out in a couple weeks, but um, yeah, there we go, guys. That's my review of Tomb Raider. I give it probably seven out of ten, maybe six point five seven. Uh, but anyway, though, guys, that is about it for this uh, video. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you all next time.